Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing on this Thursday? I am Kenna, and as promised, we're back with SCP Secret Files. I, I, I feel like we might be wrapping this up. Our character Carl moved to a new location. That's the only thing I'm going off of. I could be totally wrong, but <laughs> I just have this feeling, you know? Let's continue. Let's not dilly-dally shilly-shally. I think we were working on 426. There we go. Yeah, experiment log 426-1, test subject D-081, date of test, mostly redacted. I'm gonna let this finish typing out completely before I start reading. All right, description. Test subject D-081, named Jason Grias, is a 28-year-old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder, nicknamed Chimney. His psychological condition was normal before he entered sight, redacted. However, he developed negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that D-081 did not acquire any physical dis- Did not acquire? Any physical disabilities, okay. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted. Life and living are tough. When being awake and sleep are no longer regular. Only the number of cigarettes left can give me general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Oh! Oh my god. I need to smoke on the toilet first. Really? Dude, Jason, come on, dude. Don't do this to me. How do I... I need to smoke on the toilet first. Well? D-081. One small single bed, but cozier than the one in jail. Oh, D-081. They didn't even provide a mirror, but I don't need to see my face. I'm not getting an E for this. I can't go any further. I'm like blocked. Okay. Oh, I had to pick up the stupid cigarette. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's do our morning routine, I guess. Soulmate, at least you're still alive. D-081, that's right, man. Soulmate, I've been paying attention. You know I could feel your life energy. Oh, ew, don't, no. Stay out of my life energy. D-081, what? Soulmate, not just yours, but all lives, the transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing. And they exist in abundance here. D-081. What the F are you talking about? Cellmate, they always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos. Distorted by another force that can't be called life. Oh my god. D-081, idiot. Cellmate, anyway, at least you're still alive. D-081, yeah. What a great ending. <laughs> Guard, D-081, time for your task. Let me finish this cigarette. Guard, ellipses. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Guard, hurry up. Damn it. Oh, am I just... Okay, I guess I... Can't catch me! <laughs> Are we about to kiss? He's all up in my business. Guard, get ready. D-081. Ah, I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? Guard says nothing. No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Shows hands. Hey! 
passed with flying colors, Jason. Dr. Havel. D-081. D-081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your finding once you've completed the observation. You understand? SCP Foundation is full of effing freaks. Yeah, well. Hose me down. D-081. Jesus, I'll never... They can't make this something less gross. I don't know what he said the first it went by too fast. I didn't even hit anything. Oh, look at the pretty picture. Hmm. This painting is called Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say interesting, but okay. I'm sorry, is that a toaster? Okay. Is this a poster of an opera? These freaks watch opera? Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor. Hello? Can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? It's a legit toaster. I can't go that way. I can't go this way. Can I go around? Oh. Do I need to do anything with these? Okay, do I have to do maybe something with this thing? Ah! Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Dude, you're not supposed to have them, Jason. You're gonna get in trouble. Ha! They'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Oh, no! No! Damn, that's good. D-081 returned to the lab. Dr. Havel, you can start reporting. D-081, well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. I'm, what the hell is happening? Dr. Havel, anything else? D-081, what else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I am a toaster. Put bread in my slot and I'll make a perfect effing piece of toast. <laughs> Dr. Havel, good. You can go back to your room now. Good? What did I just say? D-081 returned to the living quarters from the lab. I'm a toaster. What? Oh. Is this my cell? This is my cell. Cellmate, hey, chimney. There's something different. Some wonderful smell on you. D-081. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life. A different kind of existence. Shit. That sounds effed up, man. You've changed. You're no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end. Only chaos. Can you shut up? Is this the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No. No, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. That's why the ja the the electrical jack is there. Because I am... I am a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. <laughs> wow! I am a toaster! <laughs> it feels so good! What was I doing? I need to charge. Yes! Yes! I gotta charge myself up! I... Okay. Damn, there's no plug. What? They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can make one myself. 
Um. I got a piece of cloth. Got a piece of iron pipe. Oh, is there something else I need to get? Oh, okay, wait. There we go. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Got a wire. Oh, okay. Choose two from four. Well, I mean, I would say... say these two, right? Yeah! Good, this is it. Oh my god, I'm like a mechanical engineer now. I can't wait to charge up. Oh. My god. You're not a toaster, Jason. Test report, D-081. Observed SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D-081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster, SCP-426. D-081 died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. Right. Okay. So this is experiment log 426-3, test subject D-082. Date of test was March 15th, 2000 something. Description, test subject D-082 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65 year old white female with no history of mental illness. D-082's psychological evaluation results were unknown when she entered site, redacted. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has caused several cellmates to self-delete and several guards to betray the redacted prison institution d-082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the foundation she was cleared for testing after we confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her scp-426 test miss wilson miss wilson d-082 what happened dear i fell asleep Cellmate, I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. What was I yelling about every time I fall asleep? I think I'll never wake up again. You were yelling, bread? Give me bread? I dreamt about my children. <laughs> what does that have to do with bread? <laughs> Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that, Miss Wilson. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know? I think this is a kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. Do I want to smoke on the toilet by chance? People should take care of how they look, even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like everyone would think like this. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow. Oh, Dorothy! You scoundrel! Guard, D-082. Time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. <laughs> what happened? I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Let's go, Dorothy. <laughs> Guards are getting a lot of face time with these, uh, these volunteers, quote unquote. Guard, prepare for security check. DJ082, you're always scanning. You don't trust me? <laughs> All right, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Tell Nana what's wrong.
D-082. Good morning, Dr. H. Dr. Havel, D-082. My dear, you can call me Dottie. You will be in the innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here to report your findings. <coughs> oh, okay, bye. He really should be more clear about these tasks. Well, but this one sounds simple enough. Just as well, I might not be able to stand for too long. Oh, I went the wrong way. Don't pay any attention to that. Oh my, what a terrible smell. Why don't they use a nice lavender scent? Los Angeles at 4 a.m.? Why does this painting remind me of basketball? Because <laughs> you're an old, senile old coot? This show looks interesting. I probably won't get a chance to see it, though. I better hurry along. I don't want to be rushed. No, not with the toaster. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh, is this my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? Uh, she returned to the lab and reported to the doctor. I've adopted the toaster. Dr. Havel, you can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I am a toaster. About this wide and this high. Oh, my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Dr. Havel, good. You can go back to your room now. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Return to the living quarters from the lab. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Toaster, toaster, toaster. Cellmate. Hey, Miss Wilson. How are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel... Not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm I'm good. That's great, Miss Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? <laughs> Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. Well, that's never good. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I am a toaster. Time to get to work. <laughs> Wee! Okay. There's not enough bread to toast. Oh, and you don't have a socket in here anymore. Um. E. Found the stolen access card. Oh, are you gonna... Okay, now what? Are you gonna... Toast the access card? Ah. Oh my god. This... Is a weird one. Work, work, bread, bread. I hope you don't have celiac disease, Dorothy, or whatever your name is, Miss Wilson. I can toast any kind of bread there is. Ew, you're gonna eat garbage bread? Gross. How, how do I get this one? Oh my, uh oh. The unattainable bread. Ugh. Bread, bread, work, work. Oh my god. This is not enough. I can toast more. Okay. I mean, I can't. Can I go through this door, maybe? No. I mean, I'm assuming I should get this. 
Oh, okay, I can't reach it. Bread, bread, work, work. This is not enough, I can toast more. No problem for me, I'm the best model ever made. Oh, wow. Do we have telekinetic skills? Woo! Oh my god. Work, work, more bread, more bread. This is bizarre. Just go, girl. Go! Keep going! Oh, why is the bread taking so long to toast? This is like a paleo enthusiast's nightmare. Oh no. <laughs> this, this is so weird. <laughs> All right, test report. D-082 observed the object closely for redacted minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first person description of SCP-426. D-082 began to develop hallucinations 50 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster, SCP-426, and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. Ooh. The autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. At what a champ. I, I I would actually like to know, just out of sheer curiosity, why the devs chose these, like, specific SCPs. Like, were they personal favorites of theirs? Or um, were they SCPs that they felt like didn't have enough shine on them and kind of wanted to uh, give them their, their time in the sun? All right. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, experiment log 426-6, test subject D-083, test date mostly redacted. Description, test subject D-083, named Adam Moria, is a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. His psychological evaluation results showed that he had ir irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering site redacted. Remarks, D-083 yelled, I am a toaster! My insides need to be cleaned! After coming into contact with SCP-426, redacted times, he then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishing liquid and fell into a coma. <laughs> it's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Damn it! F. F all of you. Amazing. Guard, D-083, you're awake. Get yourself ready for the lab. D-083, what the hell am I doing here? What did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha! <laughs> That's convincing. Do you think I'm an effing idiot? After the task, you drink industrial strength dishwashing liquid. Ha! <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Don't F with me, I'll kick your goddamn ass. D-083, what are you? What? D-083, what are you? I'm your effing grandpa, that's what I am. And I'm gonna knock out your teeth one by effing one. Guard D-083, come out and get ready for the lab. Damn, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. Feels like part of my brain is missing. Like, like I'm a... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Uh... <laughs> mm hmm Tick-tock. D-083, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache. I'm a good toaster. You don't have feet. 
F, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. Dr. Havel. D-083. D-083. Hey, you old effer. <laughs> you remember what you did after your last task? D-083, are you willing to reobserve the test subject? Object? Listen here. I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards. Eh, my head is gonna explode. Guard send D-083 back to his room for observation. Yes, doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old effer. D-083 returned to the living quarters. Returned to the level D prisoner living quarters. D-083, shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this, I should be. I am a toaster, I am a toaster. I am a toaster, I am a toaster. Guard, D-083, do you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. D-083, I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door, I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread! I'll try to toast this bread, that way I'll know if I'm really broken. Guard, oh, oh, oh. I, there's something wrong with me. This is bad. Oh no. We have a level D prisoner, oh, okay. Oh! Eh. Oh. Whoa! Toaster wins! Did I win? Did I hit something I'm not supposed to hit? D-083, stop everything now! We can kill you now. D-083, I am broken. D-083, what are you? I'm... I'm not a good baby bear toaster. <laughs> I can't toast anymore, but... Yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Uh-huh. It is too freaking early in the morning, man. It is too early. Oh my god. Test report. After the previous observation experiment was interrupted, D-083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs. On the way to the clinic, D-083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. D-083 eventually died of excessive bleeding. I mean, how many more test subjects do you have to go through before uh, you realize 426 is wacky cuckoo bonkers? Okay, item number SCP-426, object class Euclid, special containment procedures. I have to be locked. Uh-oh. I have to be locked in a room without any windows so that nobody can see me. The door to my room must be labeled without my ID number and personal details to prevent the spread of my symptoms. Only staff at level 3 and above are aware of my existence and particularly of my properties. Description. Hello, I am SCP-426. I must be introduced this way in order to prevent ambiguity. I am an ordinary toaster, able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However, when any human being mentions me, they inadvertently refer to me in the first person. Despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak or write about me in the third person. Oh boy. After conducting several tests with level D prisoners... The Foundation has determined that SCP-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure. Contain. Protect. Uh-huh. Moshi Moshi. 
The sound was good. <gasps> Next comes the final choice. Oh no. <gasps> there are two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking. And this road will end here. You go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep Oh, come on. Leave or stay. The choice is your own. All right, Morpheus. Can I just go back through that door? But what if I'm a toaster? Okay, well, I mean, obviously, I think they want us to go through the blue door. Swipe. I need an exit tank. Oh, oh, just. Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Thanks. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head of things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met? These were not hallucinations. They're your actual memories. Huh? Carl, you are not a rookie at all. You are a member of Mega 5. You always have been. My name is Marion Wheeler, captain of Mega 5. Welcome back, Gardener Carl. Now, what? We need to talk about 55. Huh? Like SCP 55? Is there an, I'm assuming there is an SCP 55. Okay, wait, who's Mega 5? Okay, wait, you know what? I have my phone. Hold on, I'm gonna look up like SCP 55. Okay, so this is according to, what is this? Oh, is this the SCP wiki? Because we all know wikis are, are great. Let's see, SCP-55 description. SCP-55 is a self-keeping secret or anti-meme. Information about SCP-55's physical appearance as well as its nature, behavior, and origins is, is self-classifying. What? SCP-55's physical appearance is unknown. It is not indescribable or invisible. Individuals are perfectly capable of entering SCP-55's container and observing it, taking a mental note, taking mental or written notes, making sketches, taking photographs, and even making audio slash visual recordings. However, information about SCP-55's physical appearance leaks out of human, a human mind soon after such an observations. Individuals tasked with describing SCP-55 afterwards find their minds wandering and lose interest in the task. Individuals tasked with sketching or sketching a copy of a photograph of SCP-55 are unable to remember what the photograph looks like as are researchers overseeing these tests. What the hell? SCP-55 may present a major physical threat and indeed may have killed many hundreds of personnel and we would not know it. Certainly, it presents a gigantic mimetic slash mental threat, hence its Keter classification. Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming they mean 55, like SCP-55. Okay, well, yeah, we did in fact finish this today. I, I enjoyed that. It was my first SCP game. I thought it was really good. Um, I would I would probably give it like a um, six and a half, seven out of 10, leaning towards seven. Um, it looked great. It ran fine. It didn't have any kind of technical hiccups with it. Um, I think I did get this on sale, which I can't remember what the sale price was. Um, I, I actually, you know, as much as I kind of was like, oh my God, this is a lot of reading. Um, I kind of enjoyed those little breaks uh, in between the interactive SCPs. I mean, Carl is an archivist and you would sit and think, well, an archivist does do a lot of file work. So I guess immersion. Again, I would kind of like to know why. They, um, they chose the SCPs they did just because I'm genuinely curious. Um, I will say with those files that you read, that you just file away, uh, if they had gone any further with them, I would say it, it would have broken the pacing for me. So I think they did it like they were right on the precipice. Um, voice acting wasn't bad. I, I will say there were a few voice actors they use that have a very distinct way of talking. So when they did other characters, it was very obvious who it was. For instance, the woman they had talk as Sparrow in the Hanged King's tragedy or tragedy of the Hanged King. Um, she went on to talk for other 
characters in the game and it was very obvious that it was the same person. Um, but yeah, I mean, there were a few things that stood out as something maybe they could short, but all in all, I think it was a pretty solid damn game and I enjoyed it. I think it was a good length. Um, like I said, it looked good and it ran fine. I hope you all enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through this playthrough. You know, it means a lot. There's a, there's a crap ton of videos out there on YouTube and the fact that you all take time out of your day to, to sit and give my videos a view. It's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Feels good feels good but uh let me know what you think down below in the comments leave a like for me i always appreciate that and it helps the channel think about subscribing and you know what if you don't really care for my stuff that's all well and good but if you know somebody who you think might enjoy it always always feel free to uh suggest the channel and you can share share all my videos i don't that's cool but uh i plan to see you saturday I thought about doing the classrooms and I still might do it. I just, I have this inkling suspicion, this thing that I'm, I'm battling in the classrooms might take a little bit longer than I'm anticipating. It's killed me quite a few times already. So might be the classrooms, it might be a nitty horror that I have on the back burner just waiting to be played. So we'll see when we get to Saturday. But until then, you all take care. Have a wonderful Thursday and Friday and I will see you this weekend. Bye.